A few years ago, my business partners and I owned an e-commerce business that was having serious problems with the warehouse and distribution company that handled its products. End clients had started complaining to our company that they were receiving empty boxes from the warehouse instead of the products they ordered. Obviously, something was going terribly wrong on the production line and was costing everyone, the e-commerce business, the warehouse and the client, money, goodwill and a lot of time. The management team at the warehouse company decided to hire an expensive outside consultant to solve the problem. This expert advisor had everything you'd expect him to have, an impressive website, a large social media following, an MBA from a top university. He'd even written an online course on warehousing secrets that he sold to businesses all over the globe. He personally worked on our warehouse project for six weeks, during which time he designed a sophisticated system with precision scales that would weigh each box coming off the pick and pack line. If the box weighed less than it should, a bell would ring, the line would stop and the shift supervisor would walk over and remove the empty box. He'd pass it back to the team so they could repack correctly and press another button when done to restart the line. The CEO of the warehouse company was very satisfied with the return on investment statistics for the project and even passed them on to us clients to reassure us of the great lengths they were going to in order to solve the problem. Not a single empty box left the warehouse after the new system was put in place. A week later, the CEO read the new weekly statistics report. He was confused. According to the statistics, the fancy new system had picked up zero boxes that week, when it should have been picking up at least a dozen a day. Could the report be wrong? Or was the expensive system broken already? The consultant and his team of experts took some time to investigate and came back saying the report was correct. The scales weren't picking up any defects because all boxes that got to that point in the conveyor belt were packed with the correct order inside. Even more puzzled now, the CEO went to the factory and approached the precision scales. Close to the scale, he noticed a big, cheap plastic desk fan that was blowing any empty boxes off the belt into a bin. Every hour, one of the team members would take all the empty boxes out of the bin to the back of the line for repacking. What is this? Oh, that, just a fan. Tony put it there because he was getting tired of coming down to the line every time the bloody bell rang. 